Hey guys, here we are in Cartagena. We've just finished a haul out and in that haul out we've serviced our cell drives, things that you have to do every two years along with the bottom paint. And it was hard to find information on the internet that was detailed, that was really complete to be able to help you through the whole process. So we videoed the good, the bad, the unexpected, the ugly, and showed you what we did because it's not always predictable and how we got our boat back in the water within five days. We are getting staged to start working on the sail drives. We need to scrape off the nasty reef off well, the props. Can't even tell what's underneath there. We've got to get the zinc off of this side. The other side, the zinc is gone. We're not sure why, but it is. It is morning at the boat yard and it is our first morning here after haul out. And this morning we're going to try and get the propellers off and get them soaking so that they are ready to go and we want to put them back on. This thing's been on here a long time in a caustic environment. Got it. Okay, the first one's off. All right, so far so good, babe. All right, first piece is off. I just want to be able to get the groove, if I can get the socket on there. Yeah. Very smart. Yeah, getting it done. Whoa! are off. Now we've got the zinc holders to take off. Oh, Alright, we're starting on the second prop to get it off and <laughs> thankfully we've gotten all the pieces off the other one and they're almost finished sanding so we'll leave it until they're done with sanding and then we'll start servicing that prop. Trying to use as little force as possible. Okay. Two workers on lunch break took pity on us and came over to help us speed up the process of getting the sail drive off. drive is out and we have a very different system than Jurgen's SD25. Uh, we've got some grooves going on right here which is not good. Getting some advice as to what we need to do about that if we have to do anything. So. All right first things first is to get the seals and the o-rings out of the unit. And these are harder, harder than you think. Boy, they're in there. We're at a little bit of an impasse, so we're gonna wait for a mechanic and we're gonna cover this opening so it doesn't get stuff in it and then wait for a mechanic. We're soaking our metal well. pieces from the boat, the propeller, the rope cutter in a solution. It's actually a descaling uh, solution for a coffee maker, but you can use barnacle buster. I think there's other things you can use, vinegar, 
but it's basically to get the, the marine growth, the shells and stuff off of it. Yeah. And because we're going to have to go through and polish it by hand just to get the surface nice and smooth. So it's going to be harder for stuff to attach to it. Ugh, look at that. Tried to get it off with Scotch Brite and a bunch of other stuff. So we soaked them in some wheat and erratic acid solution. And after you do that, that really cleared a lot of the uh, calcification that comes from the sea growth. So it was better than the coffee. Oh, well, we ran out of that. So mm. that just, yeah, it was so much better. Um, coffee stuff is pretty weak. weak. Now, what we do here is after you soak them in the acid solution you want to neutralize them so you take water and you pour baking soda in it and then that is a base that reacts with the acid to stop and neutralizes the acid it. Yeah. process yes so that doesn't eat away at the metal yeah. so many things to know yeah it's just really tricky all this stuff and and you want to get these things super smooth because when this is super smooth it's hard for it to attach like near a finish so it it cleans up pretty well those are our rope cutters yeah these are deadly man but these are going to save a haul out you know these are like worth their weight in gold after carlos inspected the first drive shaft and propeller bearing support he went to work dismantling the other sail drive trying to get the screw loose that holds the oil. Oh. Wow. So that oil's a little bad, yeah. Tenía rastros de agua ya. Rusty. Aquel no, Rusty. Aquel Rusty. That the other one don't no. have rust. Oh. Which indicate that the water was. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he, he, put, he put in, in the machine, but don't need in this case. Well, it's 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 mechanization. Yeah. It's just cleaning. With the okay, machine. just cleaning. Okay, so rusting on oh. this one in comparison <laughs> to the other one. Uh, we do have some ridges, but not bad on this one. Uh, it just needs to be cleaned. There is some water ingress. You can see the rusting. In comparison to the other one, there's no no rust on this one at all. So no water ingress. He put this in a special machine and check the chap. Oh, it doesn't vibrate. For me. Perfect. Yes. So he's banging out the seal. Oh, wow. Que bueno. Muy rápido. Pista. Yeah. He need to remove this piece for put for for made the installation of the he like, need to, to take it out. Take it out okay. to a workshop. El, el taller es para hacer de extract, la, para de, hacer el la extracción para con un una prensa. especial, si una prensa especial para no It's maltratar. A, a, special a special tool. Yeah. For, for remove this. Okay. Part of boating is working with other people and sometimes depending on other people and their expertise and you learn even when they help you you learn as you go through these experiences and we videotape this stuff for you guys so that you can learn also because every 
issue is different and really with these sail drives you don't know what's going on until you get down in there and take a look at it like mm -hmm. on the port side i didn't think we had any water at all looking at the transmission fluid from the top but when we took it out there was some rust on there mm -hmm. and everything so this is why you every time you haul out mm -hmm. you service them this is why boats are high maintenance but you got to get on it and stay on it because this stuff's important and we also didn't have the tool to take out the ring that uh needs to be removed to put no. the seals in so this is all all good yeah good and this is gonna hopefully help oh. you so that you will be more prepared in the future or this may not be as much of a surprise as it was to us hey if you like great content like this hit that subscribe button share and make sure you like. leave some comments we really appreciate you guys thanks for watching it's mejor nuevo si, nuevo mejor. okay brown he said the the screw for the oil is better to have a new one okay i got it Carlos is going to take our parts off to the machine shop. At the machine shop, the machinist filled in the grooves on one of the shafts with metal and then used sandpaper to shave it down to size. He also used the machine to ensure the shaft was straight and remove the rust and dirt. At his house, Carlos installed the new seals and O-rings in the propeller bearing support using the lube that Yanmar Instructions recommends. Esta es la pieza donde van alojados los retenedores. Listo, aquí ya empieza para colocar retenedores. primer retenedor que va mirando hacia afuera que es el que evita que el agua entre hacia la transmisión y el segundo retenedor hace la vez lo contrario evita que el aceite salga de la transmisión y este va lo contrario Listo, cambio de retenedores. De orden nuevo en la carcasa. El primero. Y el segundo retenedor. El segundo orden, perdón. Of two cell drives that are painted with prop glide epoxy. And it's an anti-fouling, it's super expensive, can't find it down here. We are going to use a zinc chromate spray paint. The uh, great thing about that is a primer, it's, it's also the uh, sacrificial part, the paint itself. Then on top of that, we're going to do an Interlux 33 anti-fouling. First thing we have to do is sand with 80 grit sandpaper this anti-fouling so it's smooth and in some cases it's come all the way off so possibly it wasn't prepped correctly and if you look you can tell we've still got a bunch of uh, growth the bottom of the growth on there um, it's pretty tenacious probably gonna have to go down to the bare metal because I think some of this ate through the epoxy I don't know about up here you know it's hard to get up there and I don't know how maybe I can sand it's gonna be really tough getting up there for anything so we'll do our best
just saying this part, you should do the same thing as we did here. The task for the day is to get this as clean as the sail drive itself and the front of it is, has to be cleaned as well. So what we're doing to prepare this surface to clean the dust from sanding and also to get better adhesion is applying mineral spirits. That's the first thing we do before we put down our primer. The the body of the cell drive is aluminum. Right, yes. right. And yes. maybe when you finish, you can apply this for special protection. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you because wanna... zinc is a special um, metal. Uh, anodos is in zinc yes. because yeah, yeah. zinc, yes. the corrosion, the galvanic yes. corrosion, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sacrifice yes. zinc yes. before right. other metals. Oh. This is the reason why the anodes is in yeah, yeah. zinc and not in aluminum oh, yes right, right, yes right, right. Flexfold does not have their instructions in Spanish, so we're translating online. Okay. Sí, eso para cuando se vaya a poner el tornillo. Bueno. Perfecto.
No, no, no muy fuerte. Okay, 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 okay. Para no dañar okay. esto. Ah, sí. Ah, because of the soft metal. Ah. Sí. La roca no sirve. What do you say? Ah, uh, it's stripped. Está muy cristalizado. Ah, no. El más largo no hay. No. Ah, uh, that's why we're losing him. Everything was going beautifully until the last step. I guess that's a good thing. The last step is the, is, uh, the one that we can fix. And we can actually do this in the water if we absolutely have to. Uh, this screw is stripping here. So we need a, either a longer one or we need to re-tap that. Carlos is working it out. Necesito un nuevo de esto? Si. Oh, man. Brown, we've got to buy a new one of these plates. Ahora más que para conseguir una medida entre este y esto está difícil. ¿Lungo turnillo de eh, no, 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 no. Eh, Vamos a mirar. Ok, ok. Alright, so repair on the fly here. Hoping this works. Hoping that screw is not too long. Oh! oh my God. Increíble! Okay. Wow, Carlos! Muy inteligente. <laughs> wow.